Hi, this is Donna Marie and in this lesson I want to show you how you can hide pages within your WordPress site. Now this is for sites that are using WordPress.org, not the WordPress.com version. Sometimes you might have a page on your website that you don't want to be seen from people who stumble across your site or that you don't want to be found in the search engines. So it might be a page that you only want people to see when you direct them there. So if you're selling products on your site then this might be the page where people can download their product after they've bought it or it might be something that you're asking people to opt into your list for and then you give them some information or you show some information. So for those sorts of pages where you don't want them to be visible on your site or you don't want them found in the search engines this is the easiest way that I've found to be able to hide those pages. There's actually two parts to it. So first of all you can use the, the menu feature so you can um, set up your menu and choose which pages are visible. Problem is sometimes that doesn't, doesn't cover all of the pages um, or if you've got pages listed in your sidebar then your pages are still going to come up there. So I'll show you the way that I like to do this. First of all you're going to add a plugin to your site. So go to plugins, add new, then in the search field type in page mash and click enter and you'll see this page mash page management plugin. Click on install now. Now this one it hasn't been updated for several years and normally I'd avoid plugins that haven't been updated recently but this one it's one that I absolutely love. I've been using it for years and in all honesty it still works for me so maybe it hasn't been updated because it doesn't need it. I'm not quite sure. Anyway at this stage it's still fine for me. So we've installed that now we're going to click on activate plugin and that plugin's now active. So what happens now is if you hover over pages you'll now see you've got this page mesh. So click on that and all of the pages on our site are now listed in here and what we can do if we want to hide a page we just hover over these little arrows after the page name and click on hide and we can hide just about any pages. This is only a test site that I'm using so I don't actually have a lot on here at the moment um, but let's say we want to hide those pages then click on update down the bottom now this is important you've got to wait until the database updated message flashes up so don't take your eyes off the screen because it doesn't stay there. Sometimes if your site's a bit slow it might take a little while, it might take you know quite a few seconds for that to come up, other times it's quite quick. So keep an eye on that area and watch for that database updated and then you know those pages are updated. When they're greyed out like this you know that they're hidden but you can also drag and drop them and this will move the order of your pages as well or you could also make some of them um, parent pages and others children. So you just move them depending on how you want them to be structured. Um, that's a little bit extra that's not really part of hiding them. So that's just a little bit of extra information about what you can do with this plugin. That now stops them from being visible from the site. The other thing we want to do is we want to hide them from the search engines. So for this we're going to go to pages, all pages and we'll click on one of the pages that we want to go to. So I'm going to go just to our about page and click on edit. Now the other plugin that we want to install is the Yoast SEO plugin. Alright and that's and that's going to allow us to hide our pages from the search engines. Now depending on your theme you may have a theme that also has this sort of function so have a look if there's anywhere within your theme settings or within your page layout that allows you to set a page to be no index, no follow. If so then it might be incorporated into your theme or another plugin you've got and you don't need this. If it's not then you go to plugins, add new, search on the Yoast SEO and install and activate the Yoast SEO plugin. Once you've done that on each of your pages below the editing field you'll see this Yoast area. Now you can also use it for setting your title description and keywords for your pages but what I'm going to use it for I'm clicking on this cogwheel for the advanced settings and in here meta robots index I'm going to set that to no index 
and the meta robots follow I'm setting to no follow what that does is that asks the search engines a not to list this page in the search engines and b not to list any links on this page in the search engine so we want no index no follow and then we can update this page and that will now hide it from the search engines now if your page is already listed in the search engines before you add this then it will still be in the search engines until the next time the search engines crawl your site and see that it's now changed to no index no follow okay so if it's something that it's critical that it's not listed in the search engines you might want to contact them if it's Google or Yahoo Bing contact that search engine to request that the page be removed um, otherwise it could take a couple of weeks depending on how often your site is crawled by the search engines all right so the two steps you want to use a page mash plugin to hide the pages on your site and you also want the Yoast SEO plugin to set your pages to be no index no follow if you don't want them found in the search engines hope that helps